Baking soda. This is a very special ingredient. It has so many uses that it is insane. From making your plants grow, to stop your fridge from being stinky, and even being able to use as a deodorant. I previously done an insane experiment tenderizing steaks with it, and it worked quite well. But today we're going to be using it for a complete different purpose, because so many people have claimed that this makes better crispy chicken, and obviously without it being deep fried. And my hopes is that this is going to work well, because my goal is to make a fried chicken without it actually being fried. And the first thing we're gonna need is two exact birds. The first thing you gotta do is to make sure your chicken is extremely dry. This is a must. Once that's done, you wanna transfer it to a cooling rack so that it can dry even more. And for that, all you have to do is to put it in the refrigerator overnight. And as that's happening, I wanna go ahead and show you the secret formula. First, you wanna use some coarse salt, and you want exactly 18 grams of it. Then you wanna add exactly exactly 5 grams of baking soda, combining the total to 23. Now mix that up really good and it is now ready to be used on the chicken. The very next day I took out the chicken and look, you can clearly see that the skin is much drier. Moisture is your enemy whenever you're trying to crisping up something. Definitely do not skip this step. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and season the chicken like you normally would. You can clearly see that it also got a nice coating of the baking soda. That's what you want. Because now that the chicken is fully seasoned, you want to go ahead and activate the baking soda. And for that, I'm spraying a little bit of Wagyu fat. This is what's gonna make my chicken super crispy without being deep fried. To have a true comparison to see if the baking soda is gonna do anything, we have to have a control. And I'm gonna be seasoning this one with only salt. The next thing to do was to go ahead and add both chickens to the oven. I set the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You wanna cook the chicken for about 45 minutes. And right after about 20 minutes, you can clearly see what's happening with the baking soda one. The fat is rendering nicely and the bubbles are being created on the skin, which is exactly exactly what I was looking for. This is working a lot better than I expected. Because if you take a look at the control one, there is a huge difference. It's being cooked, but there's no bubbling effect. And as that was happening, I left the chicken alone for a little bit. Because I wanted to show you something else that baking soda also does. And that is to create a better browning in beef. Let me explain. See, I just got some ground beef. One of them was seasoned with the baking soda mix, and the other one was with just salt. There is a huge noticeable difference. You can clearly see how much more browning I'm getting in each individual piece. Once the ground beef was fully cooked, take a look at both of them side by side. The differences between them is like night and day. And since I already had all of this beef done, we're not gonna throw it away. So I decided to go ahead and make an awesome side dish. And this one is super simple and easy to make. And most importantly, I can guarantee you will please everyone. The first thing to do is to put some flavor on that ground beef. So into a skillet I threw in some oil, then I added red bell peppers, followed by onions and garlic. Now you want to mix it and cook it up for a little bit, and as soon as it starts adding some color, I went ahead and added some black pepper, cumin, chipotle, some extra salt, oregano, followed by some tomato paste. Mix that up and combine everything together, then I added both of the meats, followed by some cilantro. Now mix everything well and combine these ingredients, because to bring some freshness, into a bowl I combined onions, followed by mangoes, tomatoes, and lime juice. Mix that up a little bit and to finish it up I added some cilantro. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now obviously we're gonna need a sauce to go along with this. And this one you just gotta throw everything into the blender. So I started with some onions followed by avocado, cilantro, lime juice and a pinch of salt. Blend that up real good and the sauce is now ready. And to put this side dish together I started with a tostada followed by that beautiful ground beef we just made. We can't forget about the mango salsa, a generous amount of cotija cheese right on top, followed by a spicy mayo, which is basically Japanese QP mayo and sriracha. And of course, a generous amount of green sauce, and to finish it up, some pickled onions. Now that is today's side dish. And I can tell you one thing, it is going to be delicious. Hopefully, it's gonna pair up perfect to go along with our chicken, because by this time, they were done, and the results were quite shocking. Check out the baking soda chicken. You can clearly see the differences on the skin, which was exactly what I was looking for. But even though this worked well, if you ever tasted baking soda, you know that it's not pleasant. It's actually horrible and it gives a weird aftertaste. So I have no idea what's about to happen. Even though this worked well, is it going to be ruined by the flavor of baking soda? For comparison, check out the one that was done with only salt. You can clearly see that the skin is a little bit more soggy. But like I said, it is not about the looks. It's all about the crispiness. The question is, which one of these two birds will have a better crunch? All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful for chicken today, gentlemen, you got yeah. What? Not a, what? What is that reaction? Damn! Not even steak. 
Any steak? I would have took any steak over chicken. That's why my people like everybody. I don't blame them because chicken is chicken, but this is, look like a good chicken. Tell me it don't look good. It's okay. Damn! Wow, these guys have high standards. Oh, you don't know happy about chicken either? Wow. So here's the deal. We got a little experiment going on. You can physically see the differences between them, okay? We got chicken A and chicken B. I want to know two things. If either one of them has an off flavor. And second of all, I want to know which one is crispier, okay. okay? That is the key here. And obviously, so you guys don't get so pissed off at me, I got beef. That looks good. <laughs> I'm excited for that. that. That's probably the most exciting thing here. Fair enough. All right, so we're gonna start in this direction here. Please dig in. So it's all about that skin and it's all about that crispiness. I wanna know your honest opinion. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. As far as chicken goes, not that bad. This is chicken, but it's not bad. It's salty. It has everything I want, you know? Very good. So now I want to know the differences. So let's go jumping right to this chill, one here. Chill, chill, chill. Let's try the thing with the beef. I mean, we already had the chicken. Let's have some beef. I agree with him, to be honest. <laughs> I'm super down. Damn. Okay, grab one. So this is a nice, beautiful tostada. I want to know your honest opinion, especially about the ground beef over here. Let me know. Ooh, smells Smell so good. I'm curious already, so. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm good right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It's oh. lightly sweet. Yes. And the sweetness that you're feeling is a little bit of mango that we put it in there. I'm not gonna lie, the mango is a little strange because everything's so savory and the mango comes in a little sweet, but it actually kind of works. Okay, are you happy now? Can we please try the chicken? I wanna know. Go, dig in. Let's go. Go for the same piece you got previously. Let me know if you smell something different. Does it smell different? Mm. It smells the same to me. Oh, that's a good sign. Let's see how it tastes and the crispiness. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. A lot more crisp. For me, it's a crispiness, but the crispiness is super thin. Yeah. There's Not more much. fat on this one right here, and then the fat is on the bottom of the chicken, but this one has no fat. It's like you rendered it out so much more, and it's a much nicer crisp. And I don't know what it is, but there's like a flavor. I don't know if it's like a off flavor or, or not because it's like salty but mm. i don't know if it's the salt or something else coming in it maybe there is but i can barely tell if there is anything i'll tell you once they taste pretty similar but the big difference is actually the skin definitely a little more crispy than the other one if you had to choose obviously i know you guys like steak better yeah. if you have to go with chicken a or chicken b which one would you prefer I think I go B. The skin is a little bit crispier. That's just enough for me. It feels like chicharrón. Mm -hmm. that, that's about right. it. That's the only thing that I can say that's going for this one. Exactly, I agree with you. I'm glad you guys liked it because this is the experiment. Now, obviously, if you're gonna use it, everybody, this special ingredient, which is baking soda, by the way. Huh? Huh? Yeah, baking soda. You can eat that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you eat very little amount, everybody. Very little. Dude, my mom puts that in like the fridge. I didn't even know it was edible. It comes in like this weird like yeah, can. It's supposed to take the smell away. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. But if you, to answer the question, putting a tiny bit, just a tiny bit on top of the skin, it does change the pH and it does work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Now, which one was the winner? That one or the chicken? Mm, the 100%. Oh, I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. Yeah, man, I'm going back for the chicken. See you guys. Huh?